There are thousands of women simping for Hassan. There are women that like send him nudes in the mail. I had an Uber driver once. She talked to me for like a full 40 minutes in the car about how much she wanted to have sex with him. Yeah. She yeah. was like, he's so hot and he's so smart. And he's just like, he's my dream. Like, I just wish I could be with him. I just like, he's so cool. In this video, we're gonna dive into Hassan's three tips for people who are trying to improve their dating life. While this advice is mainly framed for men trying to attract women, since that's what Hassan and I have experience with, this advice will be helpful to you regardless of your gender or sexuality. The first thing that Hassan has to say is in response to people who say he only pulls because he's attractive physically. One, every guy can be a seven. The most common response to any dating advice is that things only work when you're attractive. But there's no reason why you can't be attractive. Anyone can be at least a seven, and a lot of you can be eights, nines, and tens, with just a little bit of work. Don't believe me? Look at Hassan as a teenager. This is what I used to look like. I don't know why people fucking make it seem like, like, this is what I used to look like until I was like 18. And then I started growing and growing, but even then I wasn't like super attractive either. Getting a haircut, exercising, and developing a sense of style all go a long way. Any dude whatsoever that doesn't have like serious setbacks, which all of you think you do, but you don't. Every dude is a seven automatically. If they wash up, figure out what kind of fucking hairstyle works on their head and what kind of beard style works on their face, take better care of yourself, shower and work out. Automatic seven, okay? Automatic seven, no matter what. And from that point on, you can do whatever. The world is your fucking oyster, okay? Just look at the transformation Disguised Toast had in just a year. This is another great example. I turned 30 today. One of the goals I set for myself over the last year was to make more of an effort in being physically active and dressing better before hitting my 30s. Last year, I weighed 165 pounds. Today, I'm 135 pounds. Look at this man. Look at how hot this man is. Losing body fat will literally make your face look sharper and more attractive. So you'll never know what your face could look like unless you try. And once you're at least a seven, the only thing holding you back from getting a girl to like you is your social skills, which takes us to his second tip. Number two, be fucking normal. You don't need to have hundreds of carefully thought out plays. That don't drink that. Whoa, whoa, don't drink that. I saw some guy slip something in there. What? Who? That guy. Thank you. The Mrs. Stins fire. We have been assigned a new house mom. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Stinsfire. Hello, girls! Or in a less extreme, but way more common case, you don't need to pretend to have the exact same hobbies and interests as the person you like. Just be yourself. Because even if you are able to get someone to like you through a pickup artist trick or by pretending to have the same hobbies as them, in reality, that means they don't actually like you. They only like the person you're pretending to be and no one can keep pretending forever. I made this exact mistake a few years ago. There was a girl in my class that I really liked and she was very outdoorsy. Like she'd go on a hike every weekend. I'm not the most outdoorsy person, but I pretended that I liked hiking just as much as she does. I took her on a hike for our first date and things actually did end up going pretty well at first. We were actually dating for a few months, but a few months in, I would constantly be annoyed at her for asking me to go on hikes every week. And she was confused about why I didn't want to hike with her. Because at first it seemed like I loved hikes. This all happened because I gave her a false image of myself because I thought that's what it would take to get her to like me. And it worked, but only for as long as I was willing to keep up this fake version of myself. We both would have been better off if I had just been upfront about not liking hiking as much as she does. Maybe that means we wouldn't have dated, but that's okay. There are so many people in the world. A lot of them are gonna have the same interests as you. So just be yourself. And finally, here's tip number three. Number three, treat people like they're just normal peers, worthy of praise and respect. We all go through a phase where we put our crush on a pedestal and think everything they do is perfect. Whenever we think someone is better than us, it's really hard for us to treat them like a normal person. This is what leads to most people getting really awkward and having trouble talking to their crush, even though most of us are really funny and likable when we're around our close friends, because the pressure's off. And on the other end of things, people in this phase of life almost always tend to completely ignore people who they don't find attractive. The best way to solve both of these issues is to just start being generally more playful and flirting with more people. You are naturally more charming and playful around people who aren't your crush because the stakes aren't as high. 
Getting the reps in will make it easier in those high pressure situations when you are talking to your crush. And if a girl isn't into you, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Hassan says it best in this next clip. Like, no one's gonna find you in your fucking attic, okay? The Discord kitten you're talking to is not cutting it. I'm telling you right now, you chatter. I'm talking to you directly, do you understand? Put the fucking phone down, go outside and try your chances in the fucking real world after taking a shower. You're gonna get projected a lot. It doesn't matter. Because the one instance of success will outweigh the million fucking failures that you experience along the way. All your losses are lessons, chat. And those are Hassan's three keys to becoming attractive. Work on your style and fitness until you become at least a seven. Act like a regular person and just be yourself. And finally, treat everyone like they're normal people deserving of respect. My next video is going to be on my favorite streamer, Ludwig. Shout out to JaderPro for asking for that video. And if you like this video, then you should check out the video I made on Saikuno and how to get girls as an introvert. There's like one person that you're allowed to like hook up with like one time and like it doesn't count as cheating. I already know mine. Who's yours? Tell me. Saikuno. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.